before we leave this part of the uh, uh, the, this part of this machine, I wanted you to note it. Note that when we put this plastic piece back on, let's see, it's got to be the right spot. Okay, this rotates here. This uh, rotates here, and that opens a switch. Those are end switches. So. And it had end switches and the others. I never pointed them out, but uh, they were there. So this has end switches just like the other one. Uh, not a heck of a lot of difference there uh, when you when you actually look at how they actuate and and how they work. It's just they use electronics uh, to create the balancing effect. And uh, we'll take a look at that motor inside there too. Okay, and here we've got it with the circuit board off. Circuit board's up there now. This is the motor. I'm going to go ahead and pull this thing apart and we'll see what kind of comparison we can make between it and the other motor. Okay, this is the inside of this one. It's a little bit different. Uh, the gears are not near as heavy as the other one. But they're steel, except for... Uh, one down there that looks like it's uh, nylon. This is the motor is considerably different. The other one had a three wire motor, which is essentially two windings uh, to provide uh, forward and reverse motion. This other motor is a little bit different. It's got four windings on it, and there's uh, two of them up there that appear to be maybe some kind of feedback windings or something like that. I don't know for sure. But the bottom ones are the uh, ones that are probably driving the motor. And that's a comparison of the very old motor to the newer style motor uh, that uh, is still used today.